Hi, this is Lee Ellis with another installment of Leading with Honor Coaching. Last month, we talked about all being thankful for all the things that we have, we've been given. And I ended that one up by asking you to reflect on a time when someone had spoken into your life, had showed that they believed in you and how it had made a difference, a difference even to where you are today. Well, this month, I want to flip the coin again and talk about you giving rather than receiving. You know, Gallup has just done a huge research program into what's going on in the workplace and what's needed now in the workplace. And the amazing thing is, they showed, is that really encouragement is the item that people need the most, and it has a huge payoff. So let me just give you a quote from the beginning of that research paper. The future of work starts with showing employees that they are valued. A culture of recognition at its most basic level is one in which gratitude, praise, and appreciation are freely given and regularly received in an authentic and equitable way throughout the organization. Can't say it much easier and better than that, can we? But when it comes to doing it, we live in a world where results, achievements, numbers on the dashboard that's what we're being held accountable for. That's our goal, is to get those results. But who's getting the results for us? It's our people. And that's why encouraging them is so valuable. Now, it's also true because we're humans. We're not X's and O's. We're not technology. Humans have a heart. Humans have emotions. Humans, most of all, want to feel valued and appreciated and recognized. It's just part of being human. And as a leader, you have to take that into account and know that your people who are doing that work for you are humans and we're all different. But we all have this need to feel valued and positive. Some of the things that came out of uh, uh, Gallup's research was this people who feel encouraged, they have a more positive outlook, they have reduced burnout, they feel less stress, more, less worry, less sadness. And you know, they just have this feeling of belonging, and that's very important. Now, how do you do that? Okay, I'm gonna give it to you very simple. Here's the easiest way I know, just start with A. You know, that's the beginning of the alphabet. Well, we have a lot of A's for this. First of all, acknowledge their presence. You know, be approachable, be available. That's how you acknowledge their presence. You let them know that you're in their world and they're in yours and then accept them as they are. Yes, they're different from you. Yes, it's a different generation. Yes, they have different talents, but just accept them the way they are, and that's gonna be very important. And then look for ways to affirm them specifically. Find something recently that they've just done and pick something out of it that's good and helpful to the team and to you and you're uh, getting those results you want, and then be very, uh, specific about it and let them know that they've done a good job and it's really meaningful to the organization. And then finally, just be appreciative overall. Make them feel valued. What does it take to make them feel valued? Let them know that you're glad you're on, that they're on your team, uh, that they bring certain things that nobody else is bringing. Just spend some time reflecting on those individuals and then let them know that they're valued and appreciated. So all of that comes together with all those A's, and by the way, you can read them in more detail on the blog, to let people know that they're appreciated and valued. That's encouragement, and that's the kind of encouragement that Gallup has found is so important in today's workplace. And by the way, it's important everywhere because you're dealing with humans. It's important at home, too. If you have children, try those out. Practice your leadership stuff that you need to be doing at work. A lot of it you can practice at home and you get great feedback in a hurry. I'll tell you, you'll see a difference. Well, thanks for joining us today. Look forward to seeing you again next month. And next month, we're going to kick off a big series that I think you're really going to enjoy as we begin a new year. Take care and God bless.